Welcome to the 2019-20 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle, video number three. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. In addition, the Rules Committee directed officials to be diligent in calling the rules as written. Additional focus will be given to traveling, eliminating flopping, flagrant one and two fouls, and the consistent enforcement of bench decorum, the coaching box, and unsporting conduct rules. This training video will focus on Rule 10-1-4, hand checking body bumping the ball handler. Rule 10-1-4. The following acts constitute a foul when committed against a player with the ball. Keeping a hand or a forearm on an opponent. Putting two hands on an opponent. Continually jabbing an opponent by extending an arm or arms and placing a hand or a forearm on an opponent. And using an arm bar to impede the progress of a dribbler. Rule 10-1-4 primarily focuses on defenders using their hands and arms, as well as their bodies, to impede ball handlers. Let's look at some plays we got right, and some that we didn't. Number 1 red drives into the lane. Number 22 white reaches with his right arm and uses his left forearm to impede the dribbler. The center official correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number 22 white. Number zero black catches the ball and dribbles to his left. Number zero white reaches with his right arm twice to impede the dribbler. Both the center and trail officials correctly call a 10-1-4 foul on number zero white. Number five blue dribbles the ball to his right as number 55 gold runs around a screen. Number 55 gold uses his right forearm and his body to chuck number five blue. The contact causes number 5 blue to go to the floor. The center official correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number 55 gold. Number 5 white drives into the lane. Number 24 black uses both hands and his body to impede the dribbler. The center official correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number 24 black. Number 1 black dribbles the ball toward the baseline. Number zero white uses his body to impede the dribbler. The lead official correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number zero white. Number 24 blue catches a pass and dribbles to his left. Number 35 gray is moving forward toward the dribbler, uses his right forearm and his body to impede the progress of the dribbler. The center official correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number 35 gray. Now let's look at a couple plays that needed 10-1-4 fouls called. Number 5 blue dribbles the ball to his left. Number 55 white and number 3 white crowd the offensive player, bump him, and then reach in multiple times. The result of this play was an out-of-bounds call favoring the blue team. This is a foul, actually multiple 10-1-4 fouls and should have been called. Number 4 red dribbles to his right near half court. Number 21 white defends the play. Number 21 white is moving forward, bumps the offensive player, and trips him. This is not a no call. This is a 10-1-4 foul and needed to be called. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. Thank you for your interest in college basketball.